Dear Josie, you were really nice to send me some of the wish care products through this letter so I thought I'll do a review now. The first one you sent me was the Bad Eye Mask with Centella Honey Fermented Essence and on the packaging, it clearly says that it helps with the wrinkles, dark circles and bags as well and I do have really heavy dark eye bags so I thought this would be good to try on and the smell was very interesting it smells like there's a lot of yeast especially when it's called fermented essence which makes sense so as I put this on it looks very interesting because I end up looking like that woman but I can see how this makes sense the style and I feel like when I put this on it felt very very cooling under my eyes which that was the main focus for me and I really do like it and it was very very easy to apply so I'll definitely try this again later on and the next day I do notice or I did notice that it did brighten my under eye is area as well and it also made it hydrating because I do have really dry skin so I also noticed that as I peeled this off there were a lot of essence remaining so I decided to tap it to absorb into my skin more the next one I was very excited to try this this was the C200 bubble peeling pad I've seen a few of my friends using this so I thought why not try this out as well this looks like a really big sponge with an exfoliation scrub on one side and the soft side where you put your two fingers in on the other side it was recommended by the packaging to um, push and to push all the foam out before I apply this. And here I should have been using something to um, move my hair away, but certainly me. But anyway, I was supposed to do this in circular motion for two to three minutes. And as I was reading the packaging, it did say for sensitive sensitive skin, you're supposed to use a mask afterwards. At first, I thought, okay, I don't have sensitive skin, I do have dry skin, so I thought, okay, it will be okay. But after using this for 2 minutes, it does feel a little bit sore, so I've only used it for 2 minutes. And then on the other side, you're supposed to pat the foam into the skin just to make it more effective. And after that, you're supposed to wash it off. And I do really like this because it does remove your dead skin, and I really am happy with that because I do have dry skin but obviously after I put mask on just to make my skin much more soothing and calmer the next product is this Unpad Ampular Pad which is supposed to be the first step of your skincare routine and as the packaging is recommended to use toner first after before using this pad this was a very interesting pad because it was very slippery to put on so I struggled a little bit and it doesn't have the exfoliation scrub on that side so I don't understand why um, you need this pad for the essence but I guess maybe you use it instead of using your own pad I guess but certainly this didn't work for me because it contained alcohol which I felt the burning um, sensation on my skin straight away which I had to remove straight after so I couldn't um, differentiate the, um, the difference between my skin but yeah that's a bit sad but other products were pretty good you also sent me some of the little samples of rich formula products that you have and there were a lot there were some like you know um spot cream and cream and toner and lotion sunblock and serum it was great to try all of these samples because it has cream and stuff for different skin type which is very awesome so thank you Josie for sending me all of these products there were some that I like and some that I would skip and I'll see you guys next time bye